Cancer is one of the most deadly killer diseases world over, claiming lives at a rate of about 7% annually. According to experts, this silent killer now claims more people than malaria in the sub-Saharan region. Being one of the non-communicable diseases and falling under the infectious diseases, Dr. Fred Okuku, a medical expert under the Uganda Cancer Institute, gives an explanation on how people get affected with cancers, especially in this region. Lifestyle is the other. Um, of course, the other factor, as you grow old, is cancers tend to come. The high rainfall, when you have high rainfall, it, it's a good incubation for many of these uh, infectious diseases. And the infectious diseases that are associated with, uh, uh, with cancer are quite common in these areas. So most of the cancers we see are due to infections, cancer of the cervix. Packets, lymphoma, Kaposi, sarcoma, all these are uh, associated uh, with infections. Dr. Okuku, who was in company with officials from the Association of Certified Chartered Accountants, says with the increasing numbers of patients affected by cancer, they are running out of the required treatment for cancer at the facility. Of course, we run out of chemotherapy because our patient numbers have been growing per year. This year alone, we are expecting 5,000 new patients what? of cancer. 5,000 new cases. We've been Just having, to yes, we've been having um, usually 2,500, 2,800, but over the years there's been a jump, um, and these patients are coming from all over: Southern Sudan, Rwanda, Burundi, Eastern Congo, Western Kenya. They all come over here. Medical experts confirm that there are different types of cancers around the world and caused by different things. But basically, how are cancer patients treated? Dr. Fred Okoku brings this into perspective. When a patient has a diagnosis of cancer, that patient will go through an evaluation. And they do what we call staging workup. They do different tests to see how far the cancer has spread. And then the doctor will assign a stage to the cancer and say this cancer is early stage one okay or stage two late stage three or stage four now worldwide stage three and four is referred to as advanced you cannot cure that cancer but the aim now the goal becomes to prolong survival and improve quality of life. Although doctors are overtaken by events because of the high numbers of cancer patients that enter those medical facilities, a lot of awareness has been done for people to know how deadly this catch is. People also have trust in the system. The drugs, uh, you know, are being provided by government for free. So these drugs um, are helping us in our efforts to combat the disease. The project manager for the Association of Certified Chartered Accountants in Uganda, Ms. Joy Tamale, called upon government to pay more attention to this silent killer. Cancer in Uganda is escalating at a very high speed, even more than HIV and malaria, where the government has put a lot of emphasis. So we call upon the government of Uganda to pay attention to cancer because it's one of those diseases that is going to erase the population if it's not given the attention it deserves. This group of accountants who were on tour to this cancer facility contributed 50 million shillings towards the treatment of cancer in the country. Brian Sinkumba, Channel 44 Television, Kampala.